After last week's violence at the U.S. Capitol, Senator James Langford and Representatives Mullen, Kern, Bice, and Cole being criticized for their role in the dissension over finalizing the Electoral College vote. Tonight, Senator Langford weighs in on the riot, as well as those calling for his resignation. Two Works for You's Katie Kelleher shares his thoughts on how the country should move forward. Katie. Senator Langford's biggest message is condemning any past or future attacks, and it's time for America to come together and listen to one another. Senator James Langford denouncing those who attacked the Capitol last week and those who may be planning an attack before the inauguration. The individuals that were in our Capitol should be arrested, should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Individuals that are planning in the days ahead uh, to be able to carry out some act of violence, that is not legal. Uh, to be able to do that, we should proactively arrest individuals. While some members of Congress are calling for President Trump to be removed from office just days before he's set to leave. So I do encourage my colleagues to show some restraint here at this point. Senator Langford thinks this adds more fuel to the fire in the country. Right now, we, we should try to bring the country together as much as we can rather than take a wedge and try to drive it even deeper uh, into the country. While many are calling for President Trump's resignation, some are also calling on Senator Langford to resign. He says Americans shouldn't be a part of cancel culture, but should be allowed to have diverse opinions. We don't all agree on every issue, and I'm not going to agree with everybody every single time, but I have a responsibility to be able to listen to 4 million Oklahomans in the best way I know how to be able to represent all of our voices through the process. Those resignation calls come after Senator Langford's plan to challenge the Electoral College votes. Despite changing his vote following the attack, he still wants to look into any election issues and answer questions for voters. But we do need to work together as a country uh, to say, how are we going to do elections better? How are we going to protect the rights of every individual so no one is suppressed from their vote? But how are we also going to try to pull people that feel like they're not being heard to a place where they can be heard and get it resolved with words, uh, not with violence? Now, Senator Lankford is urging Americans to get off social media, listen to and respect one another, and move forward as a country. We do need to make sure that everyone is actually heard in the process and everyone is respected in the process. Uh, but people that we disagree with, we don't have to diminish. And uh, that's what we're seeing right now. Senator Langford says he does plan to attend President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration next week. Katie Kelleher, Two Works for You.